Hi, I'm Bernadette Prendergast and today I'm joined in studio by Hazel Curran, owner of several Galway creches and Early Years Concierge. Hazel, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you, Bernadette. Nice to meet you. Now, you're part of Network Galway. So why did you join that particular organisation? Um, for years, I've been a member of other organisations in relation to my business in childcare, uh, which would be uh, professional bodies. And Predominantly, when you involve yourself with these professional bodies in relation to your business, it's all about what's happening or what's not happening or what the government do, what the government can't do. And I I got a little bit tired of it and I wanted to develop my businesses and I needed an outlet, another outlet. And I'd heard about Network Galway. I'd always thought that Network Galway was for business people and I would have had an issue of calling myself a businesswoman. Um, So I looked up Network Galway online and I saw that they were having an open evening in January online. It was a Zoom meeting, which suited me down to the ground at the time because I was working late. Um, I logged on and... um, I was a little overwhelmed, I won't lie. Um, I saw businesswomen there who were um, insurance brokers, bankers, pharma, all these businesswomen with degrees, PhDs, masters, which I don't have. And I was a little bit out of my depth. Um, The more I listened to these women, I discovered that they were normal. They were just like me. They were looking for what I was looking, looking for. They needed another outlet. They needed to be surrounded by peers um, in a local environment like Galway where we lived. So I liked what I heard. So I said, sure, I'll sign up. I'll go for a meeting and I haven't looked back. So you're saying it was important to you that this was an organisation for women? Yes, absolutely. Um, It was a safe place. To me, it was a safe place. I have gone to meetings and listen, it's not about, I, I, I try and explain to people, it's not about I not liking men in business. I have no issues with men in business, but I felt sometimes that I needed a safe place to, we go through different things, different emotions as women in business, from going to the bank looking for a loan, from going to a boardroom meeting. There's different um, challenges, things, challenges well. that go on for women in business. And I just felt it was important for me to have that. So when you did join then and you got over the initial, <laughs> uh, you were in awe and then you realised, no, we all have the same type same. of challenges. Mm-hmm. So what did you find then from there? What was the most beneficial to you? Um, meeting like-minded people. Um, I went to the first meeting and I went armed with my business card. Very proud of my business card. It was a new business card as I have to bring my business card. And I was a little overwhelmed when I arrived, but the other women who had been their members for a couple of years couldn't have been nicer, couldn't have been more welcoming and uh, interested in me, interested in my business and interested in what I wanted for my business going forward. And that really was brilliant for me. Okay, so we look at it from two areas then. First of all, what have you gained professionally? Oh, professionally, um, well, this time last year, I couldn't perceive myself sitting here. I wouldn't never have thought that I would have had two podcasts under my belt, that I wouldn't have purchased a company and that I wouldn't have opened up another business. That would never have been on my radar. Um, and if it was, it wasn't going to be in the short term. Um, by becoming a member of Network Galway, I've built a network of other professional women who have approached me with ideas or with um, things that they've heard in their own profession that I might be interested in in my profession. And that's what's um, been fantastic for me. And then personally, what has And then done personally, for you? oh, um, some people would say that I'm well able to talk. I wouldn't disagree with that at all, but I would never have been able, as I would see, to pitch my business. And for me to meet these other women and go to dinners and go to mornings and go for uh, walk and natter and chat, it has um, developed me as a person to be able to talk about my business in the right way. Now, I suppose people listening might be worried that it takes up a lot of time to be part of Network Galway. So Mm -hmm. does it? Um, You get out of network what you put into network. Um, If you join as a member and you sit back and you don't go to anything, you're not going to be networking. You're not going to meet other members. You don't have to go to everything. You can pick and choose what suits you to go to. But I would, my advice would be go to as many as you can. Obviously, um, you can't go to all the morning ones or all the afternoon ones. But if you have um, a timetable of what's coming next month, you can work around that. And there's evening meets. I mean, we could meet up at half six in the evening for a bite to eat. So that's that's doable for and a lot of people. As you said, there's a menu there so you can choose from it as mm-hmm. to what suits Absolutely you. what suits you. Absolutely. What about the awards programme? Have you entered that? Um, I saw it. I read it. <laughs> I didn't want to enter and I was... Um, asked by other members would I enter and again um, I decided not to enter but 
I saw, downloaded the application form, I saw the questions and I still decided I wasn't going to enter. And then I decided I was going to enter and I spent an afternoon filling out the application form. And I have to say it was one of the best things I ever did. Um, I filled out the application form. It was difficult. Um, I had to reach into all my big words (laughs) to put down. And um, I fell in love with my business again after I wrote everything about myself. And it's an awful hard thing to do is to write about yourself, how good you are, where you see yourself in five years' time, where you've come from. It's very difficult to write that well, down as Irish and people, beat yourself up. Yeah, we don't like to do that. Oh, we don't I, like to I struggled. Ourselves. I struggled with it. Yeah, and I entered. Yeah, so, uh, and I loved it, the process 100%. And how did it go for you? Um, I won um, the Power Within category, which was the one I wanted to win. And I got highly commended in Established Businesswoman. So I was very proud of myself. Very proud. Congratulations on that. Mm. So I think it's useful then, Hazel, listening to this podcast now, there will be people just starting out in business. Mm -hmm. There'll be women who've been in business a long time. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to them if they're thinking about Network Galway? I would absolutely, uh, first of all, go look for the website, um, try and find a member that you, someone that you know is a member already and get their insight into it or even contact me. I've no problem talking to anyone about it. But whether you're a sole trader, part of a limited company, an employee, um, it's something that I would recommend a woman would do. Um, Find um, a network of people who are interested in business, interested in progressing them themselves and um and 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 be become part of a network, part of a team of women. And as Trassa has said before, find your tribe and enjoy it. Um I haven't looked back. Um and as I said, you get out what you put in. Um absolutely become a member. And I think there's a lot of fun along the way too. Oh we have so much fun. We have so much so much crack. Uh we meet up, we chat, we chat about everything. It's not just business, but we definitely learn from each other and we build up contacts along the way. It's amazing. Hazel Kern, member of Network Galway, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Bernadette.